Good morning and welcome to Friday Morning Prayer. My name's Scott Dully and I'm the Parish Priest at St Peter's East Maitland. And I'm Sarah Dully, Parish Priest at St Mary's at Maitland and St Christopher's at Talara Rutherford. We're praying this morning on Wanarua Country and our family pays its respects to Elders past and present. Morning Prayer this morning begins on page 413 of A Prayer Book for Australia. The psalm set for this morning is Psalm 34, verses 1 to 17, which commences on page 254 of the prayer book. Shall we pray together? Through Christ, let us offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. The fruit of lips that acknowledge his name. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We'll say the opening canticle together. We have, have complete, complete freedom, freedom to go, go into, into the most holy place by means, means of the death of Jesus. He opened for us a new way, a living way, through the curtain, through, through his own body. Since we have a great high priest set over the household of God, let us draw near with a sincere heart and a sure faith, with hearts that have been made clean from a guilty conscience, and bodies, and bodies washed with pure water. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We'll say Psalm 34, verses 1 to 17, by alternate verses. Sorry, Psalm 35, verses 1 to 17, by alternate verses. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. Fight against those that fight against me. Take up shield and buckler, and arise, arise to help me. Draw the spear, and bar the way against those that pursue me. Say to me, I am your deliverer. Let those that seek my life be put to shame and disgraced. Let those that plot my destruction be turned back and confounded. Let them be like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing. For without cause they have secretly spread a net for me. Without cause, they have dug a pit to entrap me. Let sudden disaster strike them. Let the net that they have hidden catch them. Let them fall to their destruction. Then shall my soul be joyful in the Lord, and I will rejoice in his deliverance. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you? For you deliver the poor from those that are too strong for them the poor and needy from those who would despoil them. Malicious witnesses rise up against me. I am questioned about things of which I know nothing. They repay me evil <clears throat> for good. I am as one bereaved of my children. Yet when they were sick, I put on sackcloth. I afflicted myself with fasting. And if my prayer returned unanswered to my bosom, I went about mourning as though for a brother or a companion. I was bowed down with grief, as though for my own mother. But when I stumbled, they rejoiced and gathered together. They gathered together against me, as though they were strangers I never knew. They tore at me without ceasing. When I slipped, they mocked me and gnashed at me with their teeth. Let us pray. Holy God, through your beloved Son, you reconciled all things to yourself, making peace by the blood of his cross. Fill us and those for whom we pray with your peace and joy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our reading today comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, beginning at verse 12. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are beneficial. All things are lawful for me, 
but I will not be dominated by anything. Food is meant for the stomach and the stomach for food, and God will destroy both one and the other. The body is meant not for fornication, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. And God raised the Lord and will also raise us by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Should I therefore take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? Never. Do you not know that whoever is united to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For it is said, the two shall be one flesh. But anyone united to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Shun fornication. Every sin that a person commits is outside the body, but the fornicator sins against the body itself. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God, and that you are and that and that you are not your own? For you were bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body. May your word live in us. And bear much fruit to your glory. We'll say the canticle, Saviour of the world, together. Jesus, Jesus Saviour of, of the world, world come, come to us in your mercy. mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our aid. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains, forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Saviour and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come, Come now and dwell, dwell with, with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer, prayer and be with us always. And, and when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and, and to share the life of your kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from a time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. God of peace, you brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Make us perfect in every good work to do your will and work in us that which is pleasing in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Gracious God, as we come before you this day, we give you thanks for all that is about to come upon us. We give you thanks for your great love for us for your providence that we, which we know in so many and varied ways. Gracious God, we pray today for our church and for the church across the world. We pray particularly for those in positions of leadership, thinking today of the members of our General Synod who are finishing up the meeting today in Queensland Pray also for our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie. And we pray for all faith communities within our diocese. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the communities in which we live and work. We pray that we may be places of welcome and hospitality that everyone might find a place, find a home. We pray for the upcoming federal election, 
for those offering themselves as candidates. We pray that all of our elected representatives may serve the common good with transparency and integrity. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray for those who are struggling today, who, for whom today is a day of pain or suffering. We pray today for those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. We pray for those who continue to be affected by the COVID-19 virus. We give thanks for those who care for us in our time of need, particularly doctors, nurses and other healthcare professionals and our frontline workers. Lord, may we know your peace and your love in all situations in our lives. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we give you thanks for those who have gone before us, for holy men and women of every time and place whose lives stand as an example and inspiration to us. We pray that with them and all your saints, we may be brought to a joyful resurrection and the fulfilment of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Finally, Father, we pray for ourselves as we embark upon this day. May we know your love. May we know your peace. And may we have the courage to share your good news of love and salvation to all whom we meet. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace be to us all and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a wonderful day.